Hey everyone, I'm your inner doctor, an internal medicine and rheumatology specialist. You might have heard the saying, the tongue is the strongest muscle in the body. Well, not exactly true, but your tongue does hold some fascinating clues about your health. So grab a mirror, take a look, and let's dive in. Vitamin B12 deficiency, glossitis. First, stick out your tongue and check the color. A healthy tongue is pink, covered in tiny bumps called papillae. But if yours is red, smooth, and sore, you might have glossitis, which can be caused by nutritional deficiencies, most commonly vitamin B12. One of my patients came in with a month of tongue pain and reduced taste. She'd lost those normal little bumps completely. Tests showed she had severe B12 deficiency due to pernicious anemia, an autoimmune condition that blocks B12 absorption. After just a month of B12 injections, her tongue was back to its healthy, pink, bumpy self. And a quick reminder, vegetarians and vegans are at higher risk for B12 deficiency, so don't skip your supplements. Gorlin sign, Ehlers-Danlos syndrome. Can you touch your tongue to your nose? If you can, congratulations. You're in the less than 10% of people who can do this. In medicine, we call it the Gorlin sign. It's more common in people with Ehlers-Danlos syndrome, a genetic condition with stretchy skin and hypermobile joints. But it can also happen in a macroglossia, which brings us to macroglossia, enlarged tongue. If your tongue has indentations from your teeth along the sides, it may be too big for your mouth. Sudden swelling? Think allergic reaction or infection and get help immediately. Gradual enlargement? Possible causes include hypothyroidism, acromegaly, excess growth hormone, or amyloidosis, protein deposits in tissues. If you've had a big tongue since birth, it's likely just part of your normal anatomy. Malampati score. Open wide and stick out your tongue. How much can you see at the back of your mouth? The soft palate, uvula, and pillars. That's your Malampati score, which helps predict how difficult it would be to place a breathing tube. Higher scores often mean more difficulty. It also correlates with your sleep apnea risk. If you score high and snore or feel tired during the day, a sleep study might be worth it. White tongue, four main causes. A thin white coating is normal and should brush away. If not, possible causes include one, thrush, a yeast infection with white cottage cheese-like patches you can rub off, leaving red, irritated tissue common after antibiotics or with immune issues like HIV or diabetes. Two, leukoplakia, flat, hard white patches you can't rub off, often from tobacco or alcohol use, can be precancerous. Three, oral lichen planus, lacy white patches with burning, likely immune-related and responds to steroids. Four, hairy leukoplakia, White, hairy-appearing patches on the sides of the tongue caused by EBV, often in people with immune system problems. Tongue movements. Try these. Rolling, clover leaf, folding, twisting left, twisting right. Most people can roll their tongue, but only 5% can do all five movements. If you lose tongue mobility over time, it could signal a neurological problem. Raynaud's phenomenon on the tongue. Raynaud's causes color changes from reduced blood flow, usually in fingers and toes, but sometimes even the tongue. One of my patients noticed her tongue turn pale or blue when cold, which led to her diagnosis of scleroderma. Rare, but fascinating. Strawberry tongue. A bright red tongue with swollen bumps, like a strawberry, is classic in scarlet fever. Group A strep. Kawasaki disease, inflammation of blood vessels in young children. Geographic tongue, irregular, 
map-like patches on the tongue's surface, often harmless and linked to psoriasis or asthma. Dry mouth, Sjogren's syndrome. If you don't see saliva pooling under your tongue, you may have dry mouth. Sjogren's syndrome, an autoimmune disease, is one cause, but medications and dehydration are far more common. Chronic dryness can lead to dental problems and tongue pain. Hairy tongue, caused by keratin buildup on tongue papillae, can look black, brown, or even green depending on bacteria, diet, and oral hygiene. It's harmless and reversible with good brushing and tongue scraping. Canker sores, or aphthous ulcers, painful but not contagious, and they heal in one to two weeks. If you start getting frequent ulcers suddenly, see your doctor. Sometimes they're linked to autoimmune or other systemic conditions. Tongue cancer, a persistent ulcer or lump lasting more than two weeks needs medical evaluation. Smoking, alcohol, and HPV are major risk factors, but early detection is highly treatable. And yes, the HPV vaccine can prevent certain tongue and throat cancers. Your tongue really does tell a story about your health, from vitamin deficiencies to immune disorders to cancer clues. I'm your inner doctor. If you enjoyed this, check out my videos on what your nails and hands reveal about your health. And I'll see you in the next one.